1230. Let me give you my reasoning, okay? At 1230, 30 minutes before the show, I looked at the poll and I said, at this point, we have to make a decision. Both of these games are 100 gigabytes. They were tied 30-30. Subnautica is shorter. I figured that's when you, you slot it in first. And then we can always play Breath of the Wild after that. Sounds good to me. Is it shorter? I think it's shorter. I mean, I went on how long to beat, and it said Zelda was about 60 hours. How long to beat Subnautica? 26 hours? Yeah, it's, I mean, that's shorter. Rushed? 19 hours? It's fairly realistic. We can live with that. It's been a while since we played a longer game. You know, people are like, what did you... Turtles fly, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. People were like, what did you want to see win? Well, you don't want to know the answer, because everybody thinks it's going to be Subnautica or Breath of the Wild. The real answer is Dark Souls 2. So be careful what you wish for. New game. We will play on survival level. I have never played... Subnautica before. I know that there's jellyfish. I know uh, that there is a prawn suit. I know that it's a pseudo survival game with a story. To be honest with you, I can kind of get down with that because uh, I I love survival games. Believe it or not. I was even, don't tell Team Unity, I didn't make any progress, but I was in the Minecraft server last night, just, just chunking some cobblestone, you know? Trying to get some raw mats. But, now that we got all these mods, you know, it's all, it, it no longer is it just hold down the left mouse button and, and chunk cobblestone. You know, now it's, you gotta put all five infinity stones in the infinity gauntlet, then you go to the Twilight Forest and Thanos snap the Lich King, right? Something that's a little bit more story-driven, maybe, is more positive for me. I don't know. We'll see. I also loved Unknown World's last game, Natural Selection 2. It's the start of Bumblebee. Welded by Melf. This is spaceship was made by Ford Canada. Get out! P left click, pick up the fire extinguisher, of course. Problem solved. This is a Resident Evil 7 puzzle. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal. It is hard to be smart, so I think they're probably right there. In emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody in the club, so come on, let's ride. Excuse me. That was a flying stingray, and I'm very upset. Because <laughs> I hate all aquatic life. Scares the crap out of me, dude. Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Excuse me, my heart is uh, very low. PDA, please give me some advice. There's a med kit in the room. Thank you so much. 
Oh, and also, don't forget about your, your damaged radio, which we do not have a repair tool for. Use fabricator. Okay, so this is our, it's our crafting table. Flares. Water. Nutrient blocks. Oh! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Alright, medical kit fabricator. First aid kit. Use. Yes, please. Look at that. HP's back up to 60. I'm ready. What is this tool that I'm using, by the way? It's, it's my fire extinguisher. What the heck am I supposed to... This shouldn't be my main weapon. Put me on three. I want to be able to punch. Okay. Akatunk. Beautiful. Might want to crank up the FOV a little bit. But it does look very, very nice. Only using 4% of the CPU right now as well. Blue Hole could take a little bit of notice from that. More FOV and more game volume. I can do both of those. Although I'm going to no doubt be spooked. Alright, I gave you a little bit more game volume. Options. My computer does sort of sound like it's grinding gravel inside of it, but look at all the tessellation it's doing here. Field of view, 60. Take me up to take me up to 75. What's human field of view? Is is that a stupid question? Do humans have a field of view? It's 90ish. Okay. It's not 180. That's madness. All right, so I'm hoping, I don't know, maybe I can just harvest some coral by, by... Oh, pick up an acid mushroom. Okay, sure, that seems like... Did you hear that? Get low. You don't need that many acid mushrooms. Look, you don't know, okay? It's a sandbox game. Maybe I'm gonna start my own uh, mycorium down here. Swim to surface. A gunk. I learned everything I need to know about survival games from my friend Mouth. Oh my God, it's the uh, the engineers from Alien. No, thank you. Pick up metal salvage. Now we're talking. Achievement unlocked, I wish. Metal salvage. Don't forget to grab fish. New creature discovered. Oxygen. What? It's a boomerang fish? I, I've freed it. <laughs> I thought I could actually throw it and it would return fish to me. Ooh, okay, new life form discovered, the bladder fish. Utilizing alien resources is a confirmed survival strategy. Let's just start like that, okay. Boomerang, small edible prey fish. Food plus six, H2O minus four. Has potential as a natural water filter. Interesting. Seems like a wise idea. Oh, it's all the mushrooms I dropped. You can cook them. Oh, they're too fast for me. Oh, I, th I threw my boomerang away. I'm sorry. Please, please return to me, peeper. Edible prey fish with a high calorie count. Yo, I don't know, this one's looking a little suspicious. The Gary fish! Is this a Spongebob reference? 
oxygen. Glunk. Already, I'm like, I'm having a great time. It's Abzu, but terrifying. Break limestone outcropping. Pick up titanium. This is running well for you? I'll have you know, Bear Taffy, I have the strongest GPU AMD can buy. Yo, what is this? A sea glide fragment. I would like to pick it up, please. Gotcha. Coral. You need a scanner first. All right. All right. You know what? Temporarily, I know I got a storage chest back at our escape pod here. We can swim up through the bottom. I spoiled this for myself. I've seen people do it. What do we put in here? Well, we probably don't need this many acid mushrooms. Ever. Let's put one nutrient block in there. Take a look at our fabricator. So we can make titanium out of metal salvage. We can make water out of a bladder fish. The boomerang is dying. Well. Highly nutritious. Dude, you gotta eat fish to survive. I hate to say it. Yeah, give me the water. Air bladder. Silicone rubber and bladder fish gives us fast personal buoyancy. Good to know. And I don't even know what you do with the Gary fish, my man. I guess you, you eat them because otherwise they might rot, right? Aren't you deathly afraid of... Uh, Oh, cured foods. Interesting. Aren't you deathly afraid of uh, deep sea creatures? Deathly afraid? I wouldn't say deathly afraid. I would say that I have a, a healthy fear. Titanium ingot. Why not, dude? Yo. Standard O2 tank, another fire extinguisher, a pipe, or a floating air pump. I'm going to build nothing for now. Get the tank. All right. I have decided I'm going to build a tank instead. Is this... One of the, this is probably food. That's HP. So let's consume... Peeper. Let's consume the boomerang. Okay. I don't know. Store in here for now. Store flare. Keep the fire extinguisher. Now, give me an oxygen tank. Now we can spend more time underwater. Whoa! That's a satisfying sound. 30 seconds of oxygen, baby. Are you sure you need the fire extinguisher while you're exploring the ocean? Ah! Look, I don't tell you how to live your life. The ocean at night is a scary place. All sorts of scary creatures. Hey, you won't let me grab you, you weird, you weird triangle fish. Well, we. L oh, you're new. No, you're not. You're just different at night. Hello, bladderfish. You stinky. You hear that? That fish exploded. <laughs> it 
the, please don't hurt me. I'm Ryan. Can I grab you? I don't know if I should follow these creatures down to the depths. Maybe they're trying to rush me down there so something bad can happen. Um, also, I think I could have pretty quickly been caught in an acid attack or something there. there you go. Get the O2 tank filled up. 75 seconds of underwater goodness. Here, for now, food is mission critical. Give me, come on, peepers. Please. And I'll aim. Got one. Dude, they're so fast. One fish is not good enough. I have a, a real question for you. How long is the day-night cycle in the game? What is the frequency? Are we looking at Minecraft style 20 minutes, C418, every 12 minutes you get a new banger track? Or is there a... It's a real... No, don't tell me it's a real time. That's ridiculous. So remember, boomerang, a little bit of HP, or a little bit of food, I should say. Bladder fish are water. Peepers are a lot of food. And now, is this game not going to give you motion sickness? Look, I don't know what does and doesn't give me motion sickness at this point. I just... I just go with it. You know, right now I'm feeling good. Who knows? Twelve seconds. Don't even give me the warning. I'm good. Fifteen minutes for day. Fifteen minutes for night. Okay. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Mm. Trend is consistent with damage to the. Ah, okay. So our ship's going like uh, it's leeching all sorts of dangerous stuff out there. Understood. So we're basically completely destroying this planet. But. If I could have chosen for my ship not to crash, I would have done so. The sun is rising. Great news. This is just Black Mirror Gilligan's Island. Yo, dude. Sunrise is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Poor bladderfish never stood a chance. Dude, I need more titanium, please. Quartz. Oh, good. An alien egg. I think I've uh, seen 18 movies about this. I'm not sure if I would necessarily consider it a wise idea to put that back aboard the ship, but what could go wrong? I know. I took 11th grade physics. Survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Dude, they should remake this game. Like, Unknown Worlds should make a Subnautica, but a licensed version based on the Martian, where you play as Matthew Damon. Search your feelings. You know it would be a smash hit. Okay, where's my sulfur? If you steal my sulfur... Hey, what you doing, guys? Nothing much. Me neither. Me neither. Look for flowers. Flowers have some sulfur components. Let's 
throw your boomerang? I would never. I I say this as a compassionate human being. Um, can I build a live well in order to keep my uh, my boomerang friend alive? Yes, you can. Yo, now we're talking. Yes, but it'll take a while. You know, a live well. It's called fishing, sweetheart. Look it up. I'm not lost in the cave. I was looking for more sulfur if possible. But I think, you know, this is as good a time as any to go back to the surface. Not just because I'm terrified. I feel like, to be honest with you, food-wise, everything's okay now. You know what? You're free to go. You're free to go. You? You're free to go. By the way, free to go. What on earth? Okay. Did we eat all of our cooked fish? Hello, Kate. We can make more flares. No thank you. High capacity O2 tank. Not even close. Give me some sustenance. We're going to start out making some water. Cooked fish go bad. But presumably... I, it, can I just hold raw fish in my inventory and they'll live? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I mean, okay. Don't know. Well, at least it's honest. You have rotten fish in here? You're not wrong. How do I just throw you in the trash? Let's look at alien eggs. Evidence suggests that a substantial number, if not all of the local species, Reproduce through egg laying. Eggs can be found resting on the seafloor, buried beneath detritus, or even wedged into cracks in the rocks. Different species likely favor different biomes as their nesting grounds. Eggs discovered in the wild are in some form of natural stasis, awaiting ideal conditions in which to hatch the delivery of some vital enzyme which will kickstart the process. It is impossible to calculate the species of the egg from the exterior, however, it may be possible to stimulate a hatching response if an egg is relocated to a suitable alien containment unit. Oh, good! Blueprints. Scanner. We need a battery and titanium. A battery consists of two acid mushrooms plus to uh, copper ore. Dude, we can totally make a scanner. We could also maybe make a repair tool first. Ah, but how are we going to make silicone rubber? We need creep vine seed clusters. I think we should start with a scanner, just because it's easier, so give me two of these bad boys. A knife would be a good idea as well. Now you're speaking my language. And then... Do we not have, I mean, I thought we had a substantial amount of titanium. We have a titanium ingot. That's quartz. Well, if I'm correct. Those shouldn't rot in there. I, you know... Hold on a second. Consume one of these, consume one of these, consume one of these. So far, survival's not much of a problem. I wish I could just dump you in a trash can. So here's what I'm going to do instead. Eat it? Just eat. I mean, I can't release it because I can't put it on an inventory slot. 
This will just uh, consume it. We lose a little water in the process. Oh well. Um, so we need titanium. So we'll go to our fabricator and convert. Excuse me. How does one unmake an ingot? You can't? What the heck am I supposed to do with this titanium ingot then? I thought it was like Minecraft. We just pop.